In this example, what we are trying to do is to figure out if we can set a boundary or a perimeter among or between projects to ensure that there is no data exfiltration um, beyond that perimeter, right? So in this case, we've got project A, which is got, which is a source project, which has got some data, right? And we establish that this data is secretive, it's confidential. We don't want it to be copied to untrusted projects. So we also have another project B, which is trusted, and project X, which is untrusted. Here we also uh, have created a virtual machine, which will allow us to run the command of copying this data from here to here and to here. When we try to do this normally, right, with nothing established, we can see that it would be easy to copy this data over from um, the storage bucket into either of these without an issue. And later when we establish a perimeter, what we are going to see is that we won't be able to copy to uh, the project. So the storage buckets outside of this perimeter, but the ones inside the perimeter uh, will allow data to be copied. Cool. Um, so let's see the example for that. What I've done is uh, I've created uh, three projects. Okay, so there's project A, uh, project A uh, which is a, contains a source, project B which contains the, um, uh, which is a trusted project and project X which is untrusted. Right? And within project A's storage bucket there is a sensitive file dot text. Um, all of this is already set up. Uh, as I said, I also have a virtual machine inside project A which allows me to run some commands uh, within that. So, for example, if I wanted to see the uh, list of uh, items inside the storage bucket in A, right, you can see that uh, in this storage bucket within project A, we've got a sensitive file dot text. The other two projects don't have anything. So, if we do gsutil ls gs colon, oh, I can copy that again. From project B, there is nothing there. And the same for uh, the uh, the untrusted project so far, we've got nothing there either, right? So there's nothing inside any of those. So uh, all of this is current. Now the next thing we want to do is to see if we can copy a file from project A to project B, right? So what we're trying to do is um, is this right? We are trying to copy the data from here to here, but remember there is no perimeter established right now, right? So it's actually this that is happening. Cool. So uh, let's try to do that. How do we do that? We can uh, copy it from source to destination. So going from A to B, A to B, let me do that. You can see that the uh, copy has happened. Now if we come and refresh this page, you will see that the sensitive file or text is here. Similarly, the same thing we can do going from project um, A to X also, even though it is untrusted as of now, um, I mean, even we want it to be untrusted as of now, it is open. Right? So in both cases, we are seeing that uh, we have been able to copy the data from A onto um, or into the storage bucket in project B, right? So there are no restrictions right now. Uh, what we're going to do next is to of course, first clear this, right? Let's remove the data from here uh, so that it goes back to being nothing. And then let's refresh that just to see, ensure that there is no data inside that bucket. Okay, so uh, there's no data in there. And uh, this one also has no files, right? So it's back to the original state. Now, what we're going to do next is to establish a perimeter and we do that um, by going into our console and under security, under uh, security, we will have, uh, under security, we will have VPC service controls and you here uh, instead of selecting a project, you're setting a parameter in the uh, at the organization level, right? So it is not to um, uh, it is not at an individual project level, at but at an organization level. So you need organizational permis permissions, right? You have to have roles that allow you to do that. 
So the few roles that um, that you need, uh, including the access uh, context manager uh, permissions, right? So if you, ne you need to have that uh, in your role to be able to do this. And once you have that, you can create a parameter. Like so for example, I can say my uh, trusted parameter. Right? Let me say I'm creating a parameter called my trusted parameter. Okay. So the name is okay. The rest of the things you can leave as is. For now, even though I've got multiple projects, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the current project here. So I have project A, which is my current project. I'm going to add that project uh, as the only thing in the trusted parameter. Okay. Uh, what do we want to restrict? We could choose multiple services restrict, but in this particular case, we only care about the storage um, API. So I'm going to restrict only that for now, right? So in your actual uh, things, in your actual projects, you might be restricting more. So we've done that. The rest of it I can uh, leave as is for now, and then uh, create this perimeter. So we will give it a moment to create that perimeter. Um, oh, uh, okay. I need to change that and say usually alphanumeric must begin with a letter. I like should be okay so i have added a i put in a hyphen instead of a uh, underscore right so now we have a parameter that is established okay so it it doesn't encompass a and b it encompasses n only a. but even with that let's see how this is going to work and maybe we'll have to give it a little time for the um uh, for the uh, uh, perimeter to propagate right uh, even then let's go give it a shot okay so the same thing let us try to copy this data now right let's copy try to copy the data from uh, a to b okay it is uh, copied maybe it hasn't propagated yet so give it a little time i'm going to again delete this and try it in a moment So uh, we are trying to copy from project A, which is a source, to project B, uh, which um, which is, is supposed to be trusted, but as of now, we don't have a parameter that includes B, right? So it should, uh, at this point, deny uh, um, a copy from A to B. Yeah. So as you can see, now that uh, it has propagated, you can see that it is not allowing uh, the data to be copied from project A to project B. Okay, so we have established a parameter which is just project A. The same thing, let's try for project uh, X now. Uh, again, let's hope it has propagated. We try to do the same thing. You can see that again, there's an access denied exception, right? So we have now come to a place where um, you can't copy data out of uh, the storage bucket in project A. Uh, anywhere outside to any other uh, project storage bucket right so um, we've got here but the thing we want to do is to ensure that there is a parameter around a and b we want b to be a trusted project but not x right so let's now include project b also as part of the uh, trusted parameter so we go back into our um, into security vpc service controls um, and then edit the parameter that we have and we will add to projects uh, the project B right so we can do project B let's add that project and now there are uh, two of these projects that become the parameter yeah so at this point we have uh, this established A and B is part of our trusted uh, parameter and project X is outside of it. So at this point now, uh, once again, the chains are propagated. Uh, we should be able to make a copy from um, A to B, but not from A to uh, X. Right? Similarly, from B to X also, it shouldn't be uh, going. Cool. So let's just give it a little time. Uh, it doesn't take too much, but uh, just a little. All right. So neither of these uh, right now have the sensitive file because the last time we tried to copy, the uh, parameter blocked it, right? It didn't go outside that. Cool. So let's try this again now in the hope that 
um, the changes have propagated right so now I'm again trying to go from A to B and uh, this should be allowed right so this is allowed at this point you can see that since it has been added as a parameter it is allowing a copy of data from um, A to B yeah so uh, that is and so we can actually check that even if there is a uh, issue with that you can just say gsutil um, is util ls and look at the um, thing so you can see that there is the file sensitive file as a part of this okay let's try to do the same thing now with um, um, going from a to project x right so uh, this would be going from project a to project x which is still not part of the perimeter and therefore it should continue to be denied so uh, that's exactly what we see, right? So we have now established a certain perimeter to ensure that data is not exfiltrated even by uh, people from, um, uh, you know, uh, people who might malicious users inside the system. Let's try to do this also uh, as if we are copying it from um, project A and let's try to uh, copy it locally from project A's bucket into uh, the VM and then let's try to move it. So in this case, what will we do? We're doing, we'll be doing gsutil copy and we will copy that file, right? We will copy that file locally. So we'll take it from project A and then say, um, we want to copy it locally. So we have copied it locally. Now that file is here, sensitive file is here locally. The next thing to do would be to copy it from the local thing, sensitive file.txt and we want to put it in, um, in X so this would be the bucket for X right so let's try to do that let's try to do that it still doesn't allow you to um, send that uh, file either directly from storage bucket to storage bucket or from the local machine to that uh, outside storage bucket right so it's established that perimeter and um, we are able to uh, control that the data doesn't go from this bucket to uh, any any other uh, bucket if you find these videos useful, consider supporting me on Patreon or buy me a coffee. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more learning videos on Awesome GCP.